You are welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a lot of the pleasant chemistry. We release videos in this channel weekly on chemistry practical. So please, if you are new in this channel, don't hesitate to strike, strike that subscription button now. Don't give us a like. Thank you. I'll be treating this year NECO practical with its marking guide and also I'll be displaying the practical procedure so please if you are new in this channel kindly subscribe and do give us a like the question will be displayed on the screen all your bullet readings, initial and final, as well as the size of the bullet must be recorded, but no experimental procedure is, is required, even though we are going to show the experimental procedure in this video. As well, all, can, all calculations must be done on this paper. Okay? Now, this is the question. The question is already on the screen. A is a solution containing 0.15 mole per dm cube nitrate 5 acid B is a solution containing 4.20 gram per dm cube of X2 CO3 salt put A into the burette and titrate against 20 cm cube or 25 cm cube portion of B using methyl orange as an indicator repeat the titration three more times and record your results in the table below so like i said earlier i'll be displaying the practical procedure and then after which we are going to solve the equation on that so right now let's go to my lab let's go to the lab and see the we practical the base which is sodium carbonate na2co3 drop into the conical flask then we have two drops of material range on adding two dots of material rain, the colorless base turns to yellow. Then we put our acid, HNO3, into the burette. Then we titrate. At the end point, the yellow color of the base changed to pink, which means that uh, neutralization our has taken acid place. Is HNO3. Our acid is HNO3. Our base is H2CO3, then we have our salts. We quickly want to then solve what the first question. The first question asks us to calculate from the results and information provided, calculate concentration of B in mole per dm cube. Concentration of B in mole per dm cube. And remember, when we are calculating concentration in mole per dm cube, we can use two formulas to do that. We can say molarity. This molarity represents either comp of B, comp of B, or comp of A, concentration. The unit of concentration is in mole per dm cube. So this molarity can either be comp of B, or comp of A and is equal to mass concentration which is expressed mass concentration which is expressed in gram per dm cube that's the unit that's how we can know that's how we get our mass concentration whenever we see gram per dm cube the value that carries this unit represents our mass concentration over molar mass, molar mass, over molar mass. And if we check the question, if we check the question, I will display this question on the screen again. Let's check. I think we're given, uh, we given mass concentration of B. We're given mass concentration of B, but we're not given molar mass. Because we're not given molar mass, so we cannot use this formula because it will be true or no. We don't know our CD, neither do we know our molar, molar mass. We can't get our molar mass. 
because of we don't know what x represents. So since this formula, we cannot use this formula now. So like I have said earlier, that we cannot use that molarity because of two reasons. One, we do not know our CB, which is the molarity itself. Then we do not know the molar mass of B. We can't calculate the molar mass of B. So because, because of that, we are using this formula now, Savannah. CA, VA over CB, VB is equal to NA over NB. CA is the molarity of A, where VA is the volume of A, which is our tighter value. CB is the concentration of B we have to calculate, and VB is constant, which is 25.0 cmq. That's the volume of our pipette. NA is the mole ratio. Here we have two as the mole ratio of acid, and then we have one as the mole ratio of base. So we are going to substitute those values into the formula right now. So our CA, like I said, 0 0.15. That was what we were given in the question, but we can do it to add 0 to it because it must be in three significant figures. So multiply by our VA, which is the volume of our acid. And that is 17.18. It was displayed earlier on the screen. I will still display right now. Then divided by our CV, multiplied by the volume of V, which is 25. That's the volume. That's the volume of the pipette, which is 25. And zero equal to more ratio of acid. Acid is two divided by V is one. So if you do this correctly, if you do this correctly. For more ratio here, correct more ratio here, you are going to have one mark for this. And then for correct substitution, you also have another one mark. So you have two marks here if you if you do it correctly. We have two marks here. Correct substitution and likewise the more ratio. So now we are going to make C B the subject of the formula. So, making CB the subject of the formula, we are going to hand one mark for this. One mark for making CB the subject of the formula. So, the final answer of CB.
I will blow your mind. So B I I B I I we have to calculate the value the value of S in what in B. And remember that the B is S to C O three. So we are we want to calculate the value of X A. But recall, recall that the total the total mass A is called molar mass. S two C O three is equal to molar mass. Addition of everything here will give us the molar mass. So we are going to add all this together and equate it to the molar mass. We have two x. We have two x plus c. The atomic mass of c is twelve. That's carbon. The atomic mass of carbon is twelve times one because we only have one atoms of carbon here. Plus, we have three atoms of oxygen here. Multiplied by the atomic mass of oxygen. Atomic mass of oxygen is what? Is sixteen. So the addition of all these must give us the molar mass, and we have calculated the molar mass initially, which is 32. So adding all this together, 2x plus 12 plus 48 equal to 82 is equal to 82. So when we add it together, we are going to have 2x plus 42, 42, uh, 48 plus 12. That will give us 60 is equal to 82. Then we are going to collect the like times here. 2x is equal to 82 minus 60. 82 minus 60 so so 2x is now equal to 2x is equal to minus 82 from 60 is going to give us 2x is equal to 22 it's going to give us 22 then we divide both sides we divide both sides by what by 2 to make x the subject of the formula here so when we divide both sides by 2 X becomes 11. Please don't put unit here. If you put any unit here, you can be penalized for every one. Don't put any unit here. It's better to leave it as a figure to be at the silver side. So you have your one mark for this. And for making S the subject of the formula, there's another one mark here for making S the subject of the formula and then the, the overall calculation you made the other time there should be one mark for that one too thank you so we want to look at the last one now so the last question before we bring this class to a close the, say, the question says write two proper precautions taken in order to obtain accurate readings from the pipette remember we use pipettes to do what? To, pipe, to measure base. So since we use our pipettes to measure base, the first thing we need to do is to rinse the pipette with water and also with the base. We firstly rinse the pipette with water in case any, any dirty thing is inside. Then after rinsing, after we have rinsed it with water, then we also rinse it with base. And why do we do that? In order to avoid further dilution of the base we are going to measure with the pipette. Then another thing we need to ensure when we another thing I ensure when I was taking this reading is that I make sure I observe the lower meniscus, the lower meniscus of the pipette, the lower meniscus of the pipette. And there is a particular a small drop at the tips of the of the pipette i am sure that i not blow it those are the precautions i'm sure why i was taking my readings on my pipette then the last question what will be the color of the indicator and the solution b at the end point the color is pink in the previous 
uh, procedure as displayed earlier, you see that at the end point, the color change to pink. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Please do subscribe and give us a like. We will do this.